Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day, and you guys are going to love this today. Yesterday, the guy came by to see if I wanted him to brush or wash my house. He's the same guy that does it every year, and so I said, yeah, and he said, well, okay, I'll be here tomorrow. Well, he is already here, and of course, he didn't start on either side of the house. He is right here in front of me. Right now, he's doing the gutters, so that's the kind of stuff that keeps me from doing videos a lot of days, but today... I just decided I would just tell you. So if you see <laughs> some big guy in the back, he is pressure washing the house. I love it when he does the porches. And I always leave like the rocking chairs and the benches and stuff on there and get him to spray them real good because we live, we have woods all behind us and it's always so spidery and there's still pollen on things and it's almost impossible to get it as clean as he can get it. So I do not want to interrupt his progress. But today I'm going to do, it was very much requested when I asked you if you'd like the 10 MAC lipsticks or the shoes. Many of you said the lipsticks and then a lot of you said the shoes and I'm still going to do that. But this was a good one because it was easy to prepare for. So my 10 lipsticks that I chose are the ones, I have a whole bag of MAC lipsticks. I don't keep all of them out. And... But the ones I do keep out in my drawer in the little lipstick tray are these. And it just so happens that it's like 10 of them. I mean, I don't even think, there might have been one more left. I think um, it was the pink one. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm never going to remember the name. I'll put the Chatterbox. Chatterbox was out because that's such a good summer color. But that isn't going to be in my 10 favorites. What I decided to do is these 10 that I use, and what these are, are nudes, and they're the Bridget Bardot type nudes. They're the ones that I love. So it's not gonna be creme de nude. Um, there, is, there are a few in here that I've heard before, but what I was gonna tell you is one of the top 10 MAC lipsticks that I watched, there was two of them that I watched that motivated me to do this, and it was Sani, Miss May, and Peggy. And I cannot remember Peggy's, YouTube channel name, but I will put both of their videos of their 10 down below because especially I can remember Peggy's, they were a lot of pinks like Cream Cup, um, you know, oh goodness, Angel, all those ones that I love too, but they're not as much the ones that I gravitate towards. These are the ones that I really like and I feel like I've kind of worked hard to find these and find this look. So, I thought about doing each color on my lips to show you, but that would take so long, and I don't think you'd get a true picture because my lips get stained. And um, so I would, I'm going to do like Peggy did, and she did them down her arm. And then I will take a picture with my iPhone and put it at the end, and I, you know, they'll be in order. So, um, but what I was thinking about when I first started this is I was thinking, well, maybe I should do lip liners, and I thought, well, that will take just too long. But what I can tell you is if you want one lip liner to go with all of these lipsticks, Max Spice is the lip liner to have. If you want something to get the Bridget Bardot look every time, Max Spice. I also love Dior Earth, but that is discontinued. And I love Lancome Bronzel, but that doesn't have quite the warmth and spiciness that Spice does. So. I don't think anybody would ever regret getting Spice Lip Liner. So that is something you need to get to go with all of these. Okay, so let's get started. And I tried to do kind of a Bridget Bardot look today, just with my, you know, lips mostly, and maybe a little bit. I tried to kind of round out my eyebrows and stuff like that, just for fun. You know, I love to play dress up. So here we go, without further ado, without further chit chat. Okay, first one, Honey Love. And Honey Love is just such a good lipstick. And you know what I was thinking? Let me go get a tissue because I want to wipe these off first because I layer most of these. And so a lot of times what's on here is not the true color. And so I'll be right back. Let's see. I know my hair's a mess, but I thought, well, that's Bridget Bardot's hair was always a mess. <laughs> so it'll be perfect. Okay. So where was I? Honey Love. So I'm gonna wipe it off. This is what I always do when I'm getting ready anyway. I always have a tissue out with um, my brush cleaner on it and I just wipe this off on a dry spot. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. Oh, my Honey Love is so pretty. 
So that is Honey Love. Let me go, let me go further this way. Okay, there you go. It is, it's just the perfect color. And you really don't even need a lip liner with this, but lip liners always make things look better. Even if you get the nudist nude, like if you don't want the spice lip liner, if you even just, just make it a challenge to find the perfect nude lip liner for you that is the perfect color to your lips. And I would suggest it bare nude would be a good one to start off with. But that is just, Honey Love is just fabulous. So behind Honey Love, I am going to do my next favorite one when it comes to that look. And it is going to be the last one I pick up. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's funny. The last one. Okay, Velvet Teddy. And Honey Love was a matte. And it is drying, but it's worth it. And you could put a gloss over it, but it's not drying like some of those crazy lipsticks, like those Illamasqua ones, Obey, and all those. It's not like that. It's a creamy matte. Okay, so there was Honey Love, and then this is Velvet Teddy, which is also a matte. And Velvet Teddy is a little, I would say a little bit darker. So there you go, but the same color family. So, you know, a lot of this is gonna be according to your skin tone, the time of year it is, you know, if I'm wearing darker makeup or lighter makeup, and you know, like Velvet Teddy, you might not need the Spice Lip Liner. And in order to not get, I know a lot of you are scared you're going to get, and I do have a little bit of a darker line on the edge because I don't mind that, and I think Bridget Bardot had that a lot, the obvious lip liner. But you can just take your finger, you can do two or three things. You can put it on first and then blot it off before you ever put your lipstick on, and that will get a lot of it off. You can put it on and you can take a lip liner or your finger and really, really blend it in. Don't fill in your lips with spice because that's going to mess up all these colors unless you do something really light over it. Or what I do is I put spice on and then I take whatever lipstick I'm wearing and I really run it over the spice to try to just lighten it up a little bit. So, so there is the Velvet Teddy and Velvet Teddy and Honey Love, two classics, just must-haves in my opinion. Okay, which one would I say? I guess I'll go in the order of my favorite. Goodness, kind of sexy. This one I heard about when I looked up what Yolanda Foster was wearing on, not this past reunion show. She is a housewife of Beverly Hills, and he is like pressure washing my front door right now, so you're probably hearing it. And, um, but anyway, she was wearing this, or was she wearing this? I think so. And then Natalie, Flower Bomb 31, she loves this. I think Natalie might have been the one. I'm not sure. It was either one of those two. And Kinda Sexy is also a matte, and it's actually just now available at your like MAC counters. They brought out some that are typically only available either in pro or in stores, and now they have this. And it is along those same lines, but more of a peach tone. It's actually the neatest color because it's not just peach. It almost has like a peachy, rosy tone. And I would say just you can, you know, tell which one you think would be for you. It looks like it's, you know, lightest, darkest, and then kind of medium. But kind of sexy does have more of a terracotta tone to it. Okay, I'm going to draw this out too much. Okay, the next one, I can already tell you the next one I like, Cherish. This is one I got from, I think I had posted a picture on Instagram of Honey Love, and I asked you what other colors you liked like this, and many of you said Cherish, and it's a satin, so that's kind of a good, you know, I don't know, it's not matte, but if you hate mattes, that is a good way to go, is a matte Okay, satin. here it is, and it gives you kind of that, I'm having to turn my hand all awkward, gives you that just literally my lips but better. <laughs> this is, this should be on candy camera. <laughs> but that 
that is okay. I'm just going to take a little break wrong. now. He's still out there in front, but um, he's doing the porch and not the windows. So, okay. So this one was Cherish, and I love it. Cherish gives you just a really, really natural, just my lips but better but sexy all these are real sexy colors and makes your lips look really full and 60s colors so that is cherish half and half and, and this is another one that i believe you guys suggested on my instagram and this is an amplified in mac and what that means is the color is very very true and it's very um it's not sheer i would say not extremely glossy more like a satin but just a real true opaque color and so here is the half and half and let's see put it right here and it looks like it is going to be i know what it is i was trying to figure out why my swatches aren't showing but the further i go down my arm it's different when i twist so pull that over okay so there is the half and half and it is definitely i would say the darkest and see how it's got it's really pretty. You can tell the difference in the Amplified. It is just very, very concentrated. And so all those colors are just awesome. And I'm going to take a picture of these before I wash them off real quick and then get started on the other oh arm. Goodness, I'll be right, you guys. Back. I'm using one of these wipes that Lori sent me, and it feels so good. I put the link in my video yesterday. I think all of you should give these a try. They're the Gentle Cleansing Towels. Um, cleansing before facial, skin prep before waxing treatments. I believe she probably got this at her spa, but wow, they are nice. They are very, very, they're nice. They're like thicker and more like a real little towel. So that worked really well. <laughs> Here we go, class. Now on the other arm, I'm gonna do some different type colors and uh, one of them is just one I couldn't leave out, and it is literally one that I leave out and I do use a lot. And then um, one of them is a, I'll just start with this. The first one I'm going to show you is a cream sheen, and it's one of the newer ones. You know, it's not too new, but it's in the past couple of years. It, it's newer than when I first really got into MAC. And it is the cream sheen in peach blossom. And it is, let me wipe this off until it's been. And it is a, it's along those same lines, but a little fresher and maybe not as, you'll see, not as dark, definitely. All of these are going to be lighter. So there is Peach Blossom. And you can see it's along those same lines, but it's a little bit lighter. A little bit more sheer and then the cream sheens it doesn't look it is you can I don't know if you can see but it is glossy so that is a really good color it's just a good basic it would go I think it would look good on anyone okay, the next For one is a cream sheen, and it's cream cup and most everybody is going to have cream cup on their list but cream cup is one of those colors if I am just getting ready and I decide I want to wear a pink lip like a lot of times if I'm wearing all black I'll decide I want to wear a light like a baby doll pink lip this is just what I pull out because it's just such a good color and it looks good with almost all of my pink glosses like I can go you could do like Turkish delight over it or you could do Celeste over it or you could do any you could adjust it that way and it's just a good pink it's just a good neutral not cheesy not bimbo but still good light pink it's not hard to work with like another good one would be angel but i'm more fond of cream cup and probably because of the consistency but it's not like snob or a lot of those colors that are just kind of hard to work with it is just a very very if you only had one pink lipstick and cream cup was it you would be okay <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island and you only had one pink lipstick cream cup would be good okay now what have i got left here i think the last ones i have are kind of ones that i use not as much on their own but on top of other lipsticks and the first one you guys can probably imagine is myth i've had lots of myths <laughs> in my life um brooke uses myth she doesn't usually really use it but she puts it on and takes it off like i do sometimes and 
There is a Lee Swatier color I use called Ginger Spice, I believe. I believe that's it. It's, I'll put the name of it down here. You guys have seen me wear it, but it, I always start off with myth underneath and then blot it off because that makes a peachy tone kind of pop a little bit more. And you guys know what myth looks like, but I will still, and the thing is when you put myth on your arm or you swatch it, I mean, that's a lot more color than you're going to get really wearing myth. When I put myth on, it just looks like cracked up old lips. I mean, I can't wear it but I like using it under lipsticks and I like using it over lipsticks like this. Here, let me, um, see, I'm gonna take off some of that lip liner like that. And then I'll take Myth and do it right in the center of my lips. And I'm gonna go up there like that and you can see how it just makes your lips pop and kind of lightens and brightens that color so I would definitely miss myth and need to go get it immediately if I didn't have it because I use it a lot not by itself but to adjust other lip colors okay another color that is very similar to that and I do the same thing with it myth is a matte no myth is a satin huh it's dry. It's a dry satin. But the next one I've got is also a satin, and it this is Flesh is, Pot. I love this, this packaging. It's from the Heatherette collection, and this is Flesh Pot, and it is a satin, like I said, and it is even lighter, I believe, than Myth, and it's maybe a different tone. This looks like it might have a little bit of a cooler tone and be a little bit pinker than the... Here. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna put it right there. And this I also use. Matter of fact, a lot of times I'll just open my drawer and whichever one I see first, uh, Myth or Flesh Pot, I'll just grab it because I use them both in the same way. So you could see if you were using, you know, this would look better on top of like, um, oh goodness, which one was that? This would look better on top of... Cherish. This one would look better on top of Cherish where I think the myth would look better on top of like Velvet Teddy, the different tones. Okay, the last one is Peach Stock. And Peach Stock is a classic. It really could have been with, grouped with the other ones. It is also a satin. So you can see frosts aren't my friend. If you have a lot of little lip lines, and I have had lip, lip lines and creases since I was young, then Frosts just don't look good. There's a few frosts I can wear with like a gloss over them. I can't believe he's doing the front door again, which I'm glad because there's always like some kind of cobwebs and stuff all over it. This is hard. He's doing a good job. <laughs> okay, so this is peach stock. Peach stock is beautiful and it definitely should have probably been on the other arm, but we had to do five and five. So there it is, and I'll drag it down some so you can see it. So still, as you can see, they're all nudes, but I think they're all very, very wearable nudes, and these are definitely my go-tos. And there's also some like Twig, um, just some other ones that I think are neat too, but a lot of them are just maybe too dark um, for me to just go to on an everyday basis. These are my favorites, and they're so pretty. I mean, these really are pretty colors. I hope you can see just how pretty they are. And so I'm gonna go take a picture of these. These towels even have a nice, I wanted to show you this, even have a really nice lid. Like it's not gonna break off. And um, I'm gonna show you this. But can you, I hope that you can see how nice this little, I know I'm being silly, that, but really these are the things that are important. How nice this little towel is. And just takes that even though it's gentle, it just takes that right off. It feels so good. They remind me of, you know, it was the difference between like when you were doing baby wipes, the difference between the Pampers ones and the Huggies. You know, the Huggies thick ones are like that. That's how they feel. I'll be right back so with my good. outfit of the day. It's not very eventful, but this dress I ordered. Oh gosh, he finally got Bubba to move. I took pictures of Bubba to put at the end of this video of him looking at him out the window. 
anyway this dress I ordered from Target and I got two black ones because they are so I even read in the review some people use them to sleep in I love little dresses like this just to throw on they'd be good over a bathing suit I got Brooke several of them to wear like to church with a little sweater over it and I got them I think they're regularly $20 but there was some special that Target was having if you spent X amount you got 20% off or something so I wanted to show this to so you today and I'll be right back. And I love like all the different textured necklaces and stuff like that so I put on some of my favorites this is one well, I'll tell you in my um in my accessories okay and I shouldn't fix them because I like the way they hang on crazy and so this is the dark gray dress. They had it in like navy, red. I'm actually gonna try to get some more colors because I just love it. And I have washed and dried them and they do great. Shoes. So you could do anything you want, but I love the look of a little t-shirt dress and booties. And I love these Newberry canvas booties. I love that they're so skin tone. And I just, I enjoy wearing them. to say, I know when I wear stuff like this that I'm going to get the typical comments, that would have looked better with so-and-so, or I would have put it with some black flats, or, you know, don't let that, most of you are not going to be getting comments on Instagram or YouTube, but even in life, don't let that, the thoughts of what other people think, stop you from wearing what you want to unless like if my butt was pure hanging out or something but as long as i am decent i'm not going to worry about what someone else would put with an outfit because you're you you should wear what you want to and i think that's what makes i mean that's what made carrie bradshaw in that movie that's what makes you know if if everyone wore black pants and black flats and a white t-shirt how boring would that be and I'm sure plenty of plenty of you are thinking oh you know I would have worn you know my black flip-flops or black flats or something you know nothing against black flats but I enjoy being different and I it took me a long time probably until probably when I reached right around 38 after having children and stuff, you know, I would look back at my 20s at the things that I was scared to do. Wearing clothes, just things that I didn't do. And that is, it's, it, this is a petty subject, but in life, I hate regret. I hate to look back and wish I would have done something because, gosh, you know, that time is gone. And so I never want to regret doing something with my children, um, anything. So. I try to do everything now like if even if it's something crazy like I don't know just anything tell everybody that you love them call somebody and tell them that you love them even if you think you might be interrupting them at work I mean I don't know I just feel like everyone should someone put in my video last time live a little and that I said I wrote it down and I said that is so true you gotta live a little. It, wear crazy okay. pants if you want um, to. Little stud earrings. I actually need to get a little pair of like gold, brassy gold studs or something to wear like this because it bothers me not to wear any earrings. But a lot of times when I've got plenty of other stuff on, I don't wanna wear any big ones or whatever. And then my necklaces. This is the Sheila Fajal Summer Naval Pendant. I even love the name of that. And I love it. I think it's so interesting. I love the chain and I love the pendant. It's just awesome. And it's gold plated. And it's, I think I have like one, I bought all of them. And I think I only have like one on my website. This is a necklace I bought last year from Oliver and a girl, I cannot remember who it was, but they're made of ivory, I believe, something expensive. And then that was like a pink, whatever that word is, C-H-A-L, you know what I mean. Ch I want to say Chalcedony, but I'm sure it's pronounced another way. What would you guys do if I came on here one day and I didn't go off on tangents and I pronounced everything correctly? <laughs> it wouldn't be me, so that's why I don't, because someone said, that I should take the time to Google my words and know how to pronounce them correctly. And I just feel like that wouldn't really be me because that's not what I would do in life. I'm not, 
my self-worth is not based on how well I pronounce words or someone thinking that I'm so smart. So that doesn't bother me like it would some people. Anyway, I don't know why. What is wrong with me today? I just have a bundle of energy in me. This is the tube necklace from Sheila Fajal, and I love this thing. I just got three more in on my website. I also have some medium length ones, and I love it. It's just so cool looking. And it's just, I love all the different textures and colors and stuff like that. And oh, this is, I had this sitting, I had washed my hands and took it off, but I just put it back on. This is the Swirls Cigar Band probably going to be one of my all-time favorite rings. I told Sheila, I said, I love it so much. I just hope it lasts forever. And she said that she had been wearing hers for three years and it still was in perfect condition. So nail polish is still the same. Do you want you guys have a wonderful day. You will not believe this. He is doing the same window in front of me. So <laughs> I'll leave you on that note and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.